Frugal living is one of the ways you can ensure that you have plenty of money left over to save. It doesn't mean you have to be stingy. It simply means that you are wise and shrewd in how you spend your money. If you have considered living frugally and are unsure of what it involves, we have found 10 golden rules for you to follow. Number 10. Think about retirement now. Frugal people are long-term planners. If they weren't, they would spend all their money as soon as it comes in. The epitome of long-term planning is thinking about retirement as soon as possible. If you are hoping to live a long life, this is inevitable. Eventually, your old bones will demand that you sleep in or they won't be able to make the commute to work on a daily and run around the office. Once you start thinking long-term, your money habits will change. In thinking about retirement, you need to start investing and saving. Make sure that your investment is not a scam. Talk to a trusted financial advisor so that you know how to stretch the money out and make it last. You will also spend more on needs rather than luxuries that you can't afford. Frugal living is all about minimalism, so downgrade everything you have got to spend on. Use a second-hand car and save all the rest for a home you can have till you are old and gray. Number 9. Don't give in to peer influence. There is a reason you were always cautioned about your peer pressure while growing up. Peer influence very rarely leads you to make decisions that are good for you. The same is true when it comes to money. With social media, we usually feel some pressure to keep up with what we see. The problem with this is that we don't see behind the scenes. We don't know how much their trip set them back in debt or if they got their new car as a gift from someone else. Because we don't usually talk about finances, we don't know how much other people are earning. But we do know how much we are earning. Only you know best if you can afford that house or that remodel. If you can't, no need to fret. You can enjoy a good happy life on your budget. Find things you can pay for without going into shock. Frugal living ensures that your financial well-being comes first. Number 8. Do it yourself. If you have time and free hands, put them to good use. Learn to do things yourself. You will save a lot of money and pick up so many handy skills that you could in turn profit from if you learn to do things yourself. A lot of money is lost in eating out and getting coffee. Because food is a necessity, you should start here. Eating out costs the average American over $3,000 annually. And coffee? If you are spending $5 on coffee every day, you lose over $1,300 in a year that you could have saved if you had made it at home. So learn to prepare your favorite dishes so that you are going out only once in two weeks. You can also learn to sew and fix things around the house, like fixing a light bulb and repairing a leak. Start your own home garden to save considerably on groceries. Find time to wash your own car and mow your lawn. Clean your own house rather than call in service or someone else to do it for you. Being frugal means being on top of everything in your control so that you are not spending money carelessly. Number seven, have an emergency fund. A study found that very few people could come up with $300 in an emergency. Yet emergencies will arise because life is unpredictable and doesn't always check with you before it throws you a curveball. You may lose your job or be involved in an accident that renders you immobile for a few months. You may suffer a natural disaster or be in the middle of a pandemic like we just had. Bottom line, life is unpredictable. So you want to have your emergency fund set up first. Make sure you have at least $1,000 for your emergency fund. The good thing with this fund is that you are not living scared of bad days. When they come, you know you have somewhere to start from. Number six, never pay full price. In a world with seasonal sales, discounts, and secondhand shops, paying full price is not the way to go. Make use of all those options. Let someone else who doesn't know better pay the full price. With frugal living, every penny matters. Be mindful of how you spend your money and what you spend it on. You can get great pieces on sites like eBay and Craigslist. For clothes, be sure to check out thrift stores like ThreadUp or the Dollar Store. You will get great items at a fraction of the price. This also means getting deals on other items, like the half-price tickets at the cinema, or getting the two-for-one offer at your favorite pizza place. Not paying full price also means dealing with your impulsive shopping habits. When you go shopping, use the 24-hour rule to see if you really need the item you've been eyeing. After you've had some time to think about it, you may find that you don't need to spend over $100 for a new pair of shoes or whatever else you are eyeing. It also pays to look at other stores. Another store could have listed the same item at a significantly lower price. 
Never go with the first price you see. Try to negotiate or bargain or shop around. Number five, go 50-50 with someone else. Aside from waiting for favorable prices, you can also agree to cut them squarely in half so that you always know what you're paying for. Rather than get a room by yourself, see if you can get a roommate or move in with family and agree to pay half of everything you use. The other half you can save. When you go out for dates, you can go Dutch so that whoever you are with is also saving. This can also apply to other things like clothes. If you trust their hygiene, agree to share wardrobes so that you are not buying two of everything. If you like your roommate's boots, ask to borrow them when you need them and let them know that they are welcome to your wardrobe as well. There's no joy in paying for everything when there are other ways for you to enjoy something at the fraction of the price. Number four, constantly improve career prospects. To spend or save money, you need to be earning money. Look for ways to improve your career prospect. If you are doing well, that's fine, but you should always be aiming higher. Find online courses you can do in your free time and go for conferences and training. These will improve your standing in the office and result in a raise if your employer knows how to value what they've got. You need to stay relevant at work, so keep researching new technology and how your company can use that. Think of getting something more secure than a contract that can be terminated. You should also be thinking of a side hustle, something to get you money alongside your main job. You should have multiple sources of income if you can. Try freelancing sites like Fiverr and Upwork, or get into content creation with YouTube and other social media platforms. Frugal living means thinking of yourself first and how you can improve yourself. This is not selfish, it's wise. Number three, live within your means. It should go without saying, work with the money you've got. In fact, it is better that you live below your means. If you don't, you will end up in debt, and debt can become a monster to pay off. Depending on how much you earn, set out what you need and pay for that first. Make sure you've taken off your savings and paid off your bills before you start spending. Find cheaper ways to spend money. We spend a lot on entertainment and recreation because sometimes you need to de-stress. But do you really need to subscribe to over five streaming services when you get only three hours of TV time on a good day? Purchase the one you use most. Also, watch a movie from home instead of seeing it in cinemas. Consider having a picnic or a candlelit dinner at home so that you're not spending hundreds on eating out. Downsize your home and your car to something that won't take chunks out of your account. The easiest way to know if something is outside your means is to watch your body language when you see the price. If you have to wince and hesitate, it's outside your means. Look for options you can be happy with. Number two, have a goal. If you are living frugally without a plan, then you are just being miserable. There has to be something at the end of the price cuts for it to make sense. Other than the retirement plan, you should also factor in how you can enjoy the money now. That calls for a budget. A budget is simply a tool that tells your money where it should go. In your budget, include the necessities, then add something you would like to do. You make the money, you should be able to enjoy it. You could decide to plan for a trip every quarter or buy yourself a gift every quarter, like a novel you enjoy. Having a goal also helps you keep track of how well you are ticking off the big things like having a down payment for your house ready. With a goal in mind, it will be easier for you to live out the golden rules of frugal living. You will live within your means, ignore the peer influence, and do most things yourself. If you enjoyed it so far, please like this video and leave a comment. What is your best way to save money? Number one, save. Saving is a must if you are going to be financially well off. All the tips for frugal living are to make sure you have some extra money left over to go into your savings account or your piggy bank. Saving is paying yourself first, and when you need something urgently, like planning for your wedding, your baby, or your first house, you'll be glad that you saved religiously over the years. If it's hard for you to remember to save, automate it. That way, your savings will always be cut off from your income as soon as it hits the bank. Save every penny. It's not you being stingy, and in a few years when you are living your best life, you'll be grateful for every penny saved.